Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, everyone. I trust you are well and that you are having an amazing weekend. For the month of August, I will be doing all the zodiac signs, all the star sign readings, um, just to give you a clear indication of what can you maybe expect regarding your sun, rising and moon and venus signs we've got mercury retrograde in the month of august and we do have venus retrograde up until i do believe in september so with venus being in retrograde you might expect miscommunication misunderstandings in any type of relationship, friendships, co-workers, workers, um, family. <coughs> Sorry, and then with Mercury retrograde, we have got also misunderstandings, miscommunications, and technical problems regarding your laptop, your car, your phone. Normally with Mercury retrograde, the astrologists say, do not buy technical items in the sense of TVs or phones during this period of time. Normally it happens, um, I do believe, three times a year. So, yeah, that is basically just a little bit of information about the astrology um, of the month of August 2023. Hello, hello, Brockeneers, how are you? So, let's quickly see. Now I'm going to be doing Taurus. The most important messages for the Taurus peoples. The most important messages for the Taurus peoples. What do we need to know? Hmm. Okay, let me just quickly write down these timestamps as well. Taurus. We've got the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So, <laughs> this is basically telling me with the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, it's asking you, it can be regarding family, home, career, it depends where it fits into your life. It's asking you to have a different outlook. It's asking you to be, for example, more decisive, more um, assertive in your approach, more direct. Um, that's what it's asking of you for the month of August, Taurus. Let me see, what else do we need to know for Taurus? So we're getting the High Priestess, Seven of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. With these three cards, Taurus, it's basically indicating and telling me that there's going to be a happy event, a positive event in the month of August. It can be a birthday, a baptism, a social event, um, conference at work. And it's asking you to, in a sense, not self-sabotage yourself um, regarding this event. It's like, it feels like something similar is coming back around. And in the recent past, you possibly had, you went to mind about this event about this person, about the situation, about this job. You were in two minds. And for some Taurus peoples, it basically, you self-sabotage yourself in that event. And now a similar type of event or situation is coming back around. And it's asking you, um, are you going to make a different choice, a different decision? Um, 
I know, I understand the feeling. The feeling is the same as the past event. And it didn't give you a sense of, you know, complete or fulfillment. And now it's asking you to look at it in a different way. Then we've got the lovers, the queen of wands and the seven of pentacles. This, with these three cards, with the queen of pentacles, the seven of um, coins and the lovers, it's basically saying, getting out of your cocoon. Um, it's also saying, if this is regarding a love relationship, right? It's asking, it's asking you, but it's also saying, in a sense, what are you willing um, to put in time and effort towards? To whom are you willing to put in time and effort towards? What inspires you with the Queen of Wands? Because the Queen of Wands is a very inspiring person, a positive person. Can be a fire element, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries person. What makes you feel inspired? What makes you tick? You see what else? We've got the Three of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. Because we are in a fellow Earth element signs, um, month Virgo it's like you Taurus are in your element in a sense of having passion passion for yourself having passion for humility having passion for your work children your family um, you feel positive you feel inspired um, and that's why as we started to progress to the third week, don't look at it in a sense of don't self-sabotage yourself. Feel inspired. Feel it within you. Do something passionate that you feel passionate about, that you feel happy about. We've got the Death card, we've got the Nine of Swords, and we've got the King of Pentacles. So with the Death card... The Nine of Swords and the King of Pentacles. It's saying, yeah, <clears throat> that something is coming to an end. It might mean, for example, your studies. You are completing your studies and something is coming to an end. But it's also giving you a sense of stress. Am I going to be part of that graduation? Am I going to get through my exams? And with this, with the King of Pentacles, it's basically saying that with progression, with putting in the time and effort, you can create this. You can make this happen for yourself. Don't, in a sense, again, your choice, your decision, Self-doubt yourself with the seven of swords. Don't self-sabotage. Don't self-doubt. Go ahead. Be, feel insp inspired. Feel passionate about people, places, situations. It's in a sense a type of upliftment in your life, Taurus. It's like positive inspiration, new job, new career, new home, um, new business, gratitude. You've got, for Taurus, for the Taurus people, we've got the gratitude card. And I'm going to read this for you. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Gratitude, inspiration, positivity. Feeling fulfilled, feeling passionate about a person, place, situation, gratitude. So to see what crystal in the month of um, August for the Taurus peoples 
interesting. Okay, yeah, we've got one. King of Wands. We've got yellow calcite. Yellow calcite. Now, with the color yellow, yellow is upliftment. If I think about yellow, I think about sunflowers, sunflower field. Yellow is a positive color. Yellow is a you know a color of a recognition. Yellow is a color in a sense of warmth. The red is more warmth and passion, but yellow is inner happiness, fulfillment, upliftment. And that is where the crystal for you for the month, yellow calcite, comes in. Upliftment, happiness, prosperity. So if you see for the I Ching, what message do we need to give to the Taurus peoples? Taurus. Okay, we've got one. 14. Great. Is it great possession? Great possession. And I'm going to read this for you, Taurus. Great possession. From the source, creating success. From the source, creating success. The question that you need to ask yourself this month, Taurus, is given all you have, who will you be? Now, with the I Ching, it is like a type of divination, the book of changes. It's also like a type of tarot, but it's like a divination tool to assist you on your current life path. Um, and with the I Ching, these hexagrams basically assist you on your current life path. And for you, Taurus, it's basically saying, Great possession from the source, creating success. Given all you have, who will you be? If you need to give everything that you have towards a certain area of your life, family, home, career, who will you be? What will it be? So that is a question that you can maybe ask yourself. Uh,